dear students corollaries and cauchy's estimate we have some corollaries related to the cauchy's in uh, formula first one if f from g to c is analytic and a belongs to g then f of z equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n into z minus a all raised to n for mod z minus a less than r where r equal to distance of a and dou g that is here we have given a analytic function f in an open set g and a is an arbitrary point in g then we have to show that that is g is an open set and a is a point in g and we have to show that f of z has a power series expansion about a sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus a whole raised to n in mod z minus a less than capital R where R is the distance of a from dou g that is the boundary of g. So the distance between a and dou g is R that is it is the smallest distance between a and the boundary points. So if we take a disk with the center a and radius r that is b a r that is should be completely contained in g so f is analytic in g means f is analytic in b a r that is disk with the center a and radius r so we get there exists a function f which is analytic in b a r and then by previous theorem that is the simple version of Cauchy's integral formula we can write there exists a power series such that f of z equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus a all raised to n in mod z minus a less than capital R that is the proof now next we have a corollary actually there is two corollaries first one if f from g to c is analytic then f is infinitely differentiable that is a, an analytic function is infinitely differentiable second one if f from g to c is analytic and b closure a r is a subset of g then f1 of a the nth derivative of f at a equal to n factorial divided by 2 pi i into integral over gamma f of w divided by w minus a raised to n plus 1 dw where gamma of t equal to a plus r e raised to i t t belongs to closed interval 0 2 pi that is here we have two corollaries and uh, these two co corollaries have a common proof in the first corollary the first statement we have to show that an analytic function is infinitely differentiable in second one it is the equation to find the nth derivative so for this we consider a common proof that is we have to show that f is infinitely differentiable that is f dash f double dash etc exist uh, in our order and also we have to find a formula for the derivative in general so we have given that f from g to c is analytic and we consider an arbitrary point a in g and a close this with the center a and a radius r which is completely contained in g then we have by Cauchy's integral formula f of z equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w dw divided by w minus z where w is a point on gamma that is here gamma is the boundary of the disk that is the circle gamma equal to a plus r e raised to i t where t belongs to 0 2 pi that is gamma is the circle with the center a and the radius r now we have given that f is analytic by the definition of analyticity f dash of z exists for every z because f is analytic in g therefore f dash exists for every z in g now we have the formula for f of z as 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w dw divided by w minus z 
then find f dash of z in. Here we use the Lebanese rule that is 1 by 2 pi i. We have to we have the Lebanese rule as if uh, g of t equal to integral a to b sum phi of s t dt then g dash of t equal to integral a to b dou phi by dot t of s t here not to dt it is ds phi of s t ds similarly here we have f of z uh, is in the form of an integral uh, with respect to w so we have to find f dash of z that is derivative with respect to z here derivative with respect to t then we find the integral of the partial derivative with respect to t that is the variable other than s it is here we have to find the partial derivative with respect to the variable other than w that is z so 1 by 2 pi i in the integral or gamma f of w is a constant 1 by w minus z derivative as minus 1 by w minus z whole square and here is a minus z derivative minus 1 that is we get 1 by 2 pi i minus and minus cancelled that is we get integral over gamma f of w dw divided by w minus z whole square it is f dash of z now f dash of a equal to at the point a putting z equal to a we get f of w dw divided by w minus a whole square that is f dash of a exists and we get the formula then again we differentiate f dash of z with respect to z then because f dash is f dash exists now we have to show that it is differentiable whether f dash double dash exists or not again we apply the Lebanese rule in this equation we get 1 by 2 pi i into integral over gamma f of w is a constant and w minus z whole square the derivative is minus 1 by w minus z whole raised to 4 into 2 into w minus z into minus 1 dw that is 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w 2 into f of w divided by w minus z whole cube it 2 can be taken outside we get 2 can be written as 2 factorial divided by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w dw divided by w minus z whole cube now this is f dash of z to find f dash of a put z equal to a so we get the equation like this that is f double dash of a exist where a is an arbitrary point therefore second derivative f double dash exist means f dash is analytic that is f dash the first derivative is also analytic and similarly we find f d triple dash of z we get 1 by sorry 2 by 2 pi i 2 factorial by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w minus 1 by w minus z whole raised to 6 into 3 into w minus z whole square into minus 1 that is 2 factorial into 3 means 3 factorial by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w divided by w minus z whole raised to 4 for f double dash of f triple dash of a we get w minus a whole raised to 4 so in general we can write fn of a equal to n factorial by 2 pi i we can generalize it into integral over gamma f of w dw divided by w minus a all raised to here is 3 2 factorial then the here is here is 2 factorial then there is 3 if here uh, this is 3 factorial then we get 4 so n factorial means n plus 1 so this is the general equation to find the nth derivative that is the nth derivative exists 
this is true for any n so f is infinitely differentiable and we have the equation for finding the derivative that is the proof next we have an important result that is Cauchy's estimate or otherwise it is known as Cauchy's inequality that f be analytic in b a capital R and suppose mod f of z less than or equal to m that is f of z is bounded for all z in b a r then modulus of f n of a is less than or equal to n factorial m into m divided by r raised to n that is here this is this inequality is known as Cauchy's estimate or Cauchy's inequality that is the modulus of nth derivative of an analytic function is less than or equal to m into n factorial by r raised to n so for this we consider the result that is f is analytic in b a r that is our uh, disk with the center a and the radius capital r then we take a number small r between 0 and capital r and we have the result the Cauchy's integral formula f of z equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w dw divided by w minus z and also we have the equation for the nth derivative at a fn of a equal to 1 by 2 n factorial by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of w dw divided by w minus a all raised to n plus 1 from the previous corollary so uh, in mod z minus a less than smaller now we take the modulus on both sides we get by splitting this modulus equal to modulus of n factorial means that is n factorial modulus of 2 pi i the modulus of i equal to 1 so we get to 2 pi integral over gamma mod f of w and uh, mod dw divided by mod w minus a raised to n plus 1 by taking the modulus inside the integral we get the inequality become less than or equal to that is less than or equal to n factorial by 2 pi integral over gamma modulus of f of w it is given that mod f of z less than or equal to m for every z so this is m divided by mod w minus a w is a point on the circle with the center a and the radius r so this is r raised to n plus 1 into mod dw so we get n factorial by 2 pi m by r raised to n plus 1 integral over gamma mod dw this is the equation for arc length of gamma length of gamma means here gamma is a circle with the center a and radius r mod z minus a equal to r so its length means the perimeter of the circle that is 2 pi r n factorial by 2 pi into m by r raised to n plus 1 into 2 pi r 2 pi and 2 pi cancelled r cancelled so we get m n factorial by r raised to n so in the result we have not the small r it is capital r so here we take an arbitrary number less than capital r that is small r is arbitrary so as r tends to capital r this is also true we get modulus of fn of a less than or equal to mn factorial by r raised to n so this is the Cauchy's estimate or Cauchy's inequality. Thank you.